Billy Jim and welcome to another video. So get ready for some shit in this video because we're gonna we're gonna take some twists and turns and all kinds of shit. But uh, current state of the Philadelphia Eagles, we're five and six. We are second in the division. We are a game back of first place, and we do control our own destiny. People are probably wondering, well, why is that? Well, the Dallas Cowboys have a better conference record and all of that stuff. Well, guess what? <clears throat> Eagles basically are in a situation where you went out and you're in. So they control their own destiny. Uh, you got Miami this week. You got the New York Giants after that. Then you have the Washington Redskins and you have Dallas. And you have the Giants at the Giants again. So these are five games that we should win and that I honestly think we probably are going to win. I think we are going to win the NFC East. And I think Carson Wentz is going to break out of this slump starting this week. I think he's going to start. <clears throat> he's going to have a good game against a really bad Dolphins team. And that's going to wake him up and that's going to give him more confidence. And then going through the rest of the season, uh, put up until that Dallas game, he's going to um, pretty much have some smooth sailing. And, uh, yeah, he'll wake the fuck up. So I'm going to take a turn here. And uh, I'm going to talk to the fan base. And the fan base knows how I feel about Carson Wentz. I'm a big fan. Big fan of this kid. Um, but I'm also not afraid to rip his ass. I really, honestly, have been ripping the shit out of him ever since ever since last week, really. Last week was really eye-opening. You know, and there's been a lot of moments where Car Carson Wentz's his accuracy has been pretty pretty average this year. You know, and you can't we can't go into games with him missing all these throws. Throws that are easy. Problem with Carson Wentz is he wants to be this big fucking hero every single play. And he doesn't understand when shit is easy. When shit is easy, shit is easy. Give what the defense takes you. That's what he doesn't do. That's what he needs to learn how to fucking do. Otherwise, we're going to get the same Carson Wentz every week. And we're going to be talking about how he needs to step his game up every week. Now, this is, the, this is where I'm going to take the turn. Going to get on the fan base's ass for a minute. Yes, Carson Wentz deserves a lot of warranted criticism. But for all you fucking geniuses out there, that think if Nick Foles was here, Nick Foles would grab some magical wand. I don't even have a magical wand that I can pick up. I'm going to take this bottle opener, get his magic wand, and go poof. And all our fucking problems disappear with this receiving core, with his coaching staff, and everything else in between. If you think Nick Foles could just wave his magic wand and all this shit disappears. You don't know shit about football. And you should be embarrassed with yourself. You should be ashamed. And disgusted. That you would even say some shit. That is that fucking ignorant. Sorry. But that's honestly the way I see it. You know you really should be embarrassed. With, with your lack of. A, uh, with lack of knowledge. Of sports. Because it doesn't fucking work that way. People that say, well, the defense would play better with Nick Foles. The receivers would try harder. All this shit. Are you fucking kidding me? Like, get, please get real. Another thing is, Carson has been far from fucking perfect. But with this receiving core, it's not just about getting separation. It's not just about getting drop passes. These guys are doing elementary shit. They're, they're shit that they should know how to do when it comes when they're running their routes. Carson expects the receiver to be in a certain position, but then they decide to drift away at the last minute, and it results in an incomplete pass. Your routes have to be fucking precise if you're going to be a wide receiver in the National Football League. You can't have any hookups any drifting away from the quarterback 
on the play or it fucks everything up. An inch is, is enough to allow the defender to get his hand in on the play and break up the pass. <clears throat> so that's a huge fucking problem. And that is not, that's not on Wentz. That's 100% not on Wentz. So dudes can get separation sometimes. Dudes can catch the ball sometimes. But they're doing this shit. This is elementary stuff, fam. They should not be doing this all the time. This should not be happening. This should not be happening. If you are good enough to be on an NFL roster, this is the basic elementary shit should know how to do. So, and Carson has been so fucking bad, but even when he's not that bad, people want to rip his ass for everything. And it's like that for every single player in every single sport in Philadelphia. And I'm going to say it. I'm going to say what people don't want to hear. This is exactly fucking why all these big-time free agents never want to come to fucking Philly. It's because of the fans. It's because of you fucking assholes out there. Every time a player has a, a, has a game that is less than perfection, people want to rip their fucking asses and take them to the woodshed and say to trade them and that they're a bust after every fucking game. Why would people want to come play for that? That's fucking stupid. You guys need to learn how to keep your emotions in check and take a step back and not look so damn stupid and emotional after every single game. Shit. There's a million teams that would take Carson Wentz right now. So if you guys want to sit back and label him a bust and put all this shit on him, go right a fucking head. Go right ahead. That's all I got to say about that. I mean, if you told a team that Wentz was on the market right now, there would be a shitload of teams that were scrambling to see what the Eagles wanted for him. Okay? There's a lot of teams out there that would do it. So, you guys are a bunch of ungrateful fucks. So, yeah, keep embarrassing yourself. Keep embarrassing yourself, and uh, I will continue to be here to check this fan base. They either take it too far when it comes to defending him, or they take it too far when it comes to bashing him. So, at the end of the day, your host of the most, Philly Jim, always going to have you guys back. I will always be here to check you when you need to get checked. You guys should be ashamed of yourselves, the shit that's been happening the last couple weeks. It's a damn shame this is what losing does to a fan base, but that's that's honestly what it does. The shit that we're seeing right now. So, it's a damn shame, but the Eagles control their own destiny. The Eagles are going to run the table. And if there's one thing that's for sure, the New York Giants have proven it. It doesn't fucking matter if you get in. As a one seed or a four seed. If you get hot at the right time, look out. That's all I got to say. This is your host with the most Philly Gem. See you guys later.